Well, welcome back, you guys, your favorite technical math class. We'll take a look at algebra today. So with arithmetic, we're obviously manipulating numbers, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, all that. Um, but now we're going to work with some unknowns. So, for example, in, with arithmetic, we'd have 7 plus 2 is 9. Algebra, on the other hand, might say solve for x if you have x plus 2 equals 9. And then you've got to use your rules for algebra to do that. So let's talk about a little bit of algebra vocabulary. Um, and, and I shouldn't gloss over. Algebra has so many applications, you guys. I mean, it's just an infinite amount of applications in the real world. So let's get into some vocabulary here. An expression um, is an ex um, just a combination of you know what, I just realized that equal sign is not supposed to be there with an expression. So 7 plus 7x plus 2y, that would be an expression. There's no equals sign there. The 7 is the coefficient of the x. The x is the variable, the y is the variable, right? And those are two terms. 7x is a term, 2y is a term. So the terms are separated by pluses and minuses. An equation, on the other hand, has an equal sign, right? So the one down below there, 7x plus 2y equals. So we've got an equation. Again, the terms would be 7x is a term, 2y is a term, 5x is a term, and that minus 3 is a term. i got four terms there, right? So in this expression right there, how many terms do we have? 7x plus 2y plus 8? Three. three terms, exactly. So we've got three terms there. Like terms. Like terms mean they have the same variable and the same degree. So, for example, 7x and 2x. I could add 7x plus 2x. That'd give me 9x, right? But 7x squared, 7x squared and 2x are not like terms because one is squared, one is not. I could not add those can't add those, all right? Those are not like terms. So again, same variable, same degree. So in this expression right here, 5y minus 3, 5x, sorry, minus 3y plus 2x, the only like terms are 5x and 2x. So if we were adding and subtracting that, I'd have, well, that'd be 7x minus 3y. I would add the 5x plus the 2x. Uh, a constant in an expression is the one that's just the number. There's no variable attached. So the constant here is 8. Um, and notice in this 7x plus 2, 2y plus 8, there's no other constants to combine with it. So there's no other like terms to combine. I just leave it alone. Leave all those terms alone. Coefficient. So this 3x plus y plus 9. I've got a coefficient of 3 right there. What about, what's in front of this y that we don't write? One, yeah, they don't write the one, but it has a coefficient. So if there's nothing in front of a variable, please note that coefficient would be one. Uh, down here, let's go ahead and combine some like terms. I got 5x minus 3y plus 2x. This is that one we did before. Notice I have 5x and I have a 2x. Those are like terms. That gives us the 7x minus 3y, and I can't combine it with the minus 3y. All right, let's go ahead and find some values of the expression. Do a few examples here, and then we'll get you, and you can get started in your assignment. So if our x is 1, we're going to let x be 1. There's the x plus 9, and it says our y is 2. So I'm going to let y be 2. We'll plug in the x. Let's make the substitution. Plug in the y. 7 times 1 is 7. 9 times 2 18. So that 7 plus 18 is 25 plus 8. Notice these are all constants now. So we get 33. Let's see. Our x is negative 2. So we got negative 4 times negative 2 is being squared. So we're going to do the order of operations. Negative 2 squared. So that's negative 2 times negative 2. I get a positive 4. Now we do the multiplication division left to right. So I'm going to go uh, negative 16. Negative 4 times 4, negative 16. 
negative 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6. And now we do the addition subtraction left or right. Negative 16 plus 6, negative 10, negative 10 plus 1, negative 9. All right, conjugate, you guys, when you have uh, a couple of terms, like if you look at this negative 5x minus 9, it's conjugate is just when you write the exact same terms, but you change the sign in between them. Instead of a minus, you put it as a plus, negative 5x plus 9. Or let's say you had 3x minus 4. Its conjugate would be 3x plus 40. So you just change the sign between the two. And we use conjugates uh, to simplify like irrational numbers and stuff when we get into pre-calc. And, and we'll do a little bit with conjugates in this course later. So uh, simplify. Simplify just means like combine like terms. Clean it up. Right? Simplify it or evaluate the expression. It just kind of depends on what you have mathematically determines what you're exactly doing as far as simplifying but um, let's go ahead and simplify the following so in this case it's just going to be combined like terms right so i have an xy right here do i have any other xy's okay so what do those two give us xy plus a 6xy okay 7xy and now I'm looking at this constant, and I'm like, oh, there's a 3. Looks like I get a minus 6. I'm going to have a minus 3 on the end, right? And it looks like I have a 2x there, minus a 3x there. So that's a minus 1x. 2 minus 3 is a minus 1x, right? And then it looks like this is just a loner, that 9y right there. There's no other y's. And I try to kind of write that in order if you will right constant there on the end let's go ahead and do that next one there i've got a b plus three a b there's some like terms right away one a b four a b and then i got a nine a minus three a nine minus three is a six a and i've got a plus a b, so 1b plus 6b, and I guess at the end, all I have is these two constants at the end, 11 minus 9, 2, and there it is for that one. The distributive property says, <clears throat> if I have a times the quantity b plus c, a times the quantity b plus c, I take a times the b, this is equivalent to a times b plus a times c. Let me give you an example of this. Let's say you had 2 times 3 plus 4. Now, I know you guys know how to do this. 3 plus 4, of course, is 7, right? So you get 14. Well, the distributive property says that is equivalent to 2 times 3 plus... 2 times 4, or 6 plus 8. See how either way you get 14, all right? Of course, we wouldn't do it that way, but we could do it that way if we really wanted to. Um, but sometimes, like, the distributive property is nice because uh, you can't combine, like, 5 plus 2x, right? So we're going to go ahead and take 3 times 5, 3 times 5, plus, and then we're going to go 3 times that 2x. So I got 15 plus 6x is what this simplifies to. All right, let's do it again with a negative 2 in front this time. On part B, I got negative 2 times negative 4. Negative 2 times negative 4. Plus, then I got the negative 2 times that negative 7x. And then I got the negative 2 times that 9y on the end. So we got negative 2 times negative 4, that gives us 8. Uh, negative 2 times negative 7, that gives us a 14x. And then negative 2 times 9y, so I got plus a negative 18y. So I'm just going to write that as minus 18y. And that's it. There's nothing, no like terms I can combine. I stop uh, right there. I'm not sure what I did right here. This is supposed to be a plus right there. Sorry about that.
And, and just FYI on this, you guys, you have a plus a negative 18y. So I just simplified that, right? A positive times a negative is a negative. So 8 plus 14x minus 18y. I just did that all at the same time on that one. So this negative is actually a negative 1. If you want to write that, that's fine. So I got negative 1 times 3x. I got a negative 1 times 1. So I got negative 3x plus a negative 1. In other words, negative 3x minus 1. Right? Positive times negative is a minus there. And let's do this uh, last one here. Uh, negative 5 out front. And let's multiply it through. Negative 5 times negative 6 is a 30. Negative 5 times negative 9, positive 45x. Negative 5 times 11y is a minus 55y. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.